I'm with Scott. We just uh, got off work here. It's two, uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, seven in the morning. We got two beers here. Out of the three left I have from Beer Mails to review. Uh, I'm going to let Scott choose which one we're doing first. Uh, we have the uh, Chi La Chi Oriental and the Raging Bitch Belgian Style India Pale Ale from Flying Dog. What is that one? Is that uh, I don't know what, what kind of uh, IPA it is actually. So what I think probably that one would be better to do first because I get a feeling this one's going to be high in the IBUs and might burn our tongues out. So yeah, this one's only 4.5. Yeah, that one's sent by the Albino Rhino. This one is sent by Dale. What was it supposed to be anyway? Uh, it's some. It's this is supposed to be apparently. A Belgian white beer in style. Now there's no there's no real English on this stupid thing. There's like a little bit, but it's talking about the actual fucking brewery instead of the actual beer. You look it up online or something? Now, I looked it up, but their website is totally in French. There's no English option in it. Interesting. Yeah, it really pisses me off That's actually. Kind of ignorant. Yeah, the albino rhino says he's scared for us to try this one because he's had a couple beers from this brewery and they're all like really weird. Like they got weird ingredients. He hasn't had that one? I don't think he's had this one yet. They just did another one that had uh, absinthe in it. Uh, what? Uh, absinthe is a drink that has uh, it has uh, sort of tastes like uh, what do you call it? Fucking uh, licorice, mint, and it's got wormwood in it. Like real, the real stuff. The he, the stuff they got's not the real stuff because wormwood. Why, why, why are we trying this one first? Wormwood's Wormwood is <laughs> banned in North America and USA or whatever because it's got a mild toxic substance in it that yeah, causes it's hallucinations. Look at other crap using that heather or whatever the hell that was. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this one's supposed to be a Belgian white beard style. It's from the uh, Brasserie de Montreal. Um, and that's, it says, I, I assume there's ginger in it. It says rice. Argooms, what the fuck is that in French? What is that in English? I mean, Argooms, that's. Argooms, isn't that beans? That's not, no, that's not beans. Uh, I should know. We see it down the fucking can aisle every time. Some sort of vegetable or something. Some sort of vegetable. Or bean or something. Yeah, and so rice, some sort of vegetable, and ginger. Okay, we'll open that one up first and do it. <laughs> this is turns twist out. Is it? Maybe not. Oh, I think the. Oh, I think. Uh, actually, I think the other one was twist off too. The one that the albino rhino this just is. did. And yeah, and they had the same problem with it. <laughs> so weird, man. It's like Garrison or one of the other breweries. You yeah. can get things off. Propeller. That, that was the one that had the really bad yeah. caps for a while. Still do. Whoa, that's quite pale. Definitely looks like a wheat beer. There's sediment in this beer? Probably. It doesn't look filtered. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, give yourself some of that. Yeah. All right. Doesn't look bad anyway. No, it looks definitely look well. There's quite a bit of carbonation in that sucker. It's almost got the carbon. Crazy carbonation. It's almost got the carbonation, more of a, like a German Hefeweizen. So yeah, it's got that cloudy. See, so you can see the carbonation most of it. There's tons of it in there. Mm -hmm. It's got that cloudy sort of yellow color to it. I guess the best way to say it. A little bit of a head there. It looks kind of fluffy. Go to the smell. It smells like wheat beer. It's got like sort of banana kind of something or other. Oh, yeah, but you know what? Do, do you did sort of detect like almost like those gluten free yeah, it's beers? Cool. It's got slightly that kind of note to it. But yeah, like that. The hell was that stuff that was in cat the, litter? No, yeah, but there was that. How was that shit? The buckwheat malt or yeah. Oh, uh, this got is this got, this has that, because it's got rice in it or something. It probably gives you that. Yeah, you know what? This might not be. This might be gluten free. You never know. You can't tell because it's a fucking. It's all in French. But apparently oh, this. I said, yeah, I said, look, it says white rice, and then it says something uh, 
It's like that's something of ginger. Yeah. It must be pure, like a chopped up ginger. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't sound. Like I do smell the ginger in it. But then there's this dry, musty smell too in the finish. Yeah, I do smell ginger now. Yeah. Doesn't smell bad, but it is a bit too dry. Like it's got that musty. Just rice or something. Yeah, it's got that. It's got that musty fucking cat litter smell. But it's not terrible. It smells way better than any of those gluten like beers. That, uh, that uh, Mill Street ginger. Kind of, that kind of mm, I don't know about that. Yeah, it does have that musty, moldy cardboard cat litter kind of yeah. smell or something. But it's not. It's not as bad as all those uh, gluten-free ones yeah. we had. All right, I guess we'll do the taste now. Whoa, that's weird. That is weird. Yeah. I'm gonna take another couple sips of this. Oh, the aftertaste is horrible. Man, that's got. This almost got like a ginger ale, like re, like serious ginger ale pop kind of taste to it, right right up front. It was like no sweetness though. No, without the sweetness, like unsweetened ginger ale. It's got like a really weird ass aftertaste though, doesn't it? Sort of like a sour. Right in the back of your throat, you get that. Oh, it's got like a. Like chalk cherry, uh, disgusting, sour. It's what I imagine pines all taste like. No, it's like you know those little crab apples used to have that. Yeah, cherry. I know. Yeah, those little I know, but sour. Apples. It's just it's the ginger sort of fades into that, re like really dry sourness that's mm. at the end. In it's like it's almost got like a chemical kind of. Oh, it's got this weird chemical kind of taste in the back of my throat. Almost has that kind of sensation, like you know, when you have fillings and you can taste cheap yeah. stainless steel. Yeah. That's what it gives me the sensation, like. Ugh. I don't know. No, that's not good. Like the first little bit, it tastes like oh, this is gonna be it's great. Interesting. And it's interesting. Like, it's very interesting, but oh my god, it it's not something I could drink more than one bottle of, and I wouldn't even want to drink the one bottle. I don't think. Like it does kind of remind me of a. Uh, one of those gluten-free ones. Mm. Some of the gluten-free beers are really horrid ass. Like I get the ginger. Yeah, when you're after a while, you can't even taste the ginger anymore. Though it's sort of just. Uh, yeah, I get the ginger. I get the rice, but they mix together, and it's like it's what I imagine floor cleaner tastes like. Like that's yeah. that's what I keep getting in my head. A gross aftertaste. Yeah. Overshadows like the next sip. You can't. Okay, yeah, I, 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 I take it back. Some of those gluten beers are better than this. Oh, this is better than, well, I don't know. Ah. Uh, it's not horrid, but it's, uh, it's sort of like, you try to, you try to drink, the, it's got like a bitter. It's yuck. really watery, too. That doesn't help any. It gives you a really weird malt feel, though. It's very, it is. You move your tongue around, you can taste like, sort of like bitter, Oh, it's all over salty. the mouth. Yeah, it's kind of salty. salty, doesn't it? Yeah. Again, that's why it reminds me of those gluten-free beers. Drink salt water or something. Oh. There was one that was really salty, wasn't that? Barks or whatever the hell, or birds or whatever the hell. Birds, and I think it was like yeah. Salty or something like you're drinking seawater. Uh, I don't want to spend any more time talking about this beer. I don't like it. This is the, I'm gonna yeah. give it. It's I. I thank you very much, the Albino Rhino, for sending it. I don't want to, you know, insult the guy. But, man, that's a terrible fucking beer. <laughs> that is terrible. That doesn't even taste like beer to me. I'm just saying as the Chinese chick on there. Right? I guess, I yeah. If it is a girl. Is a girl. Mm. <laughs> very feminine Chinese guy. Huh? Yeah. Either way, Scott's into it. Um, <laughs> Shut up, you jackass. But, yeah, I, I, you know what? I... I Honestly, I can't. This is so off-putting. I can't even give it a one out of five. I gotta give it a zero out of five. I'm gonna give it like a. That's terrible shit. I'll give it a point five, just because. Point five. <laughs> yeah. Just because it's not. It, well, it wouldn't make me throw up or anything. It's not disgusting, but it's yeah. It just it's still that taste of my mold still. Like, mm, yeah. Still, thank yeah. you. Big thanks to Alabama Rhino. Just just interesting to try something. Yeah, we can do weird. another one now. Yeah, it? definitely clean our palate out. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll be right back here in a minute.